coming down here. Gonna try out three new spinner baits I made. I really thought this water was gonna be clear. Holy cow, is that ever brown? Well, not brown, I guess green. But it is what it is. So this is the first one. Um, <laughs> it's got a giant hook and uh, that's just a lead weight and a huge blade and a little blade and it's homemade. I twisted the wire myself, which you can probably tell if you look at it close enough. You can see the sunfish coming up over there. This is a lake that uh, a lot of people fish pike in. Not that I'm thinking I'll catch a pike, but definitely would like to try out the spinner bait. I have a feeling that front blade is not going to spin very well. But who am I to guess? Uh, it spins. It spins pretty well. It runs pretty well too. Boy, you can feel that. The trick, in my opinion anyway, with uh, anything you're making to catch pike or musky is that shake. If you look at the end of my rod tip, you're looking for that Du, 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 shake in the rod tip. A lot of these uh, spinner baits for bass won't give you that heavy shake. And a lot of the blades you buy to make things like these spinner baits out of are incredibly light or shaped in a way that they don't give you that huge, huge shake. They give you flash, which I guess if that's all you were after, it'd work just fine, but that's not all I'm after. I just put new line on this, so I'm trying to give it a good chuck or two just to see how far. I am um, also looking to see if it blows out. In other words, if there's not enough weight on that bottom and I just hand built this thing out of weird pieces and parts and whatever else, there's a chance that this thing will blow one way or another. Or the hook will not be in a good spot or a lot, a lot of things could happen. But this is actually running perfectly. Thing looks weird. It looks like a uh, olive with the <laughs> okay. Just the middle of the olive's gone. Otherwise, let's call that one the olive. This is my attempt here at uh, using powder paint and giving it two different colors. And then I made the skirt myself. I mean, the, the wire wasn't bent, the head itself, it's an eBay one, somebody molded it, had a closed loop already, I like to put that little skull thing on there, that's kind of fun, we'll see how well this one, I, I don't know if you can see this, but it's actually a double thick blade, so this blade is actually two blades, put together um, hopefully that weights enough to make this thing thump like crazy I hope it does anyway it's heavy that's for sure and hopefully the blade doesn't outweigh the head because that's the other thing is these are only a three-quarter ounce so there's a chance that the blade could be too heavy and turned down, but I doubt it. 
spinner baits for the most part are pretty um, what do you call it bulletproof I guess words I'm watching the line to see if it moves back and forth I'm watching to see if I get a boil at the top I do that thing runs great does it shake as much as the big blade no but I can feel the thump and it's nice and heavy so it's a got some thump to it the rod tip isn't going duh, 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 like you'd want but it definitely rides hard it's a good blade I can feel it I can feel it a lot more than I can with a blade that is lighter, so that's good. I <laughs> like the skull thing that's cracking me up. This one uh, <laughs> is really goofy. Here's my little skull. Again, double blade glued together because they weighed nothing. That's off a walleye spinner. It might be too, too big. I don't know painted this with spray paint <laughs> that's supposed to be orange but uh, for whatever reason that paint always dries kind of a uh, brown which I got new paint we'll try and it didn't work out real well I was playing with it while it was still drying so I got impatient the head doesn't matter <laughs> as much as you know that's most of the bait when you look at them are more for us you get uh, two choices it's a bright sunny day so you do light it's a dark overcast day so you do dark I color I think matters in the clarity of the water so in this uh, chocolate milk that I'm fishing yeah there's a you know probably a difference as to what I should use to stand off of this this would be if, I, if it was if I was trying something other than just trying out oh boy does that run well that is a nice bait that's doing exactly what I want that is a great 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 bait for pike I uh, threw a trailer on the hook itself and I don't normally do that I or, but not a trailer hook but a, a uh, what it would normally be on the trailer hook a trailer kind of gives it something else to bite on and gives you a second hook to catch the pike on but you see it kind of rattling back there boy does that ever run well that's perfect I shouldn't say perfect now something stupid's gonna happen but it runs really well Let's see if I can burn it up there oh I like it burning yep should boil just fine boy does that ever run well I would count this a big win so, there we go. Homemade skirts, custom homemade paint that seems to be holding up okay. I like those eyes. Um, but yeah, I just bought buy these on painted blanks, they're cheap, and then you put the blades on. And what's nice about putting your own blades on, if you go through quite a few, oh, there's a bass, or something jumped, go through quite a few uh, bucktails or spinner baits or whatever it might be where things just plain wear out on a person. You can do whatever you want to to paint these things up and then 
but making the skirts pretty easy and, and, and <laughs> just string the stuff on and away you go. So not so bad. Saves you a buck or two, but boy does that run well. And I like the little skulls. Alright, that's the end of that. Three homebrew baits that all seem to work fine.